Warning lamps play an important part in diagnostics. They can point you in the right direction. This is the master warning light, and it also has a buzzer. The master warning light can be on without the buzzer, either or. Now, it's on when there's a malfunction in the hybrid system, or the HV, the high voltage battery pack, has a low state of charge. It can come on when there's an engine coolant temperature problem or an oil pressure problem. It can come on when there's an electronic power steering system problem, when there's a fault in the transmission control ECU, or in a four-wheel drive system if the vehicle so equipped. The mill is your everyday OBD2 mill. It's on when there's a malfunction in the engine control system that can cause emissions to exceed the standard. This is the discharge warning light. It's on when there's a malfunction in the 12 volt DC battery system, the auxiliary battery system, or the 12 volt charging system, the converter assembly. These vehicles do not have an alternator. They use a converter that converts the high voltage from the high voltage battery pack to the 12 volt charging system. At the same time, the master warning light may illuminate and the buzzer may sound. This is the HV, the high voltage battery warning light, the main battery or the high voltage or the hybrid battery pack. It's on when the HV battery state of charge is lower than the minimal standard and that's in a percentile. At the same time, the master warning light may illuminate and the buzzer may sound. The hybrid system warning light, you can see it has an exclamation mark through a vehicle there. Or on some models, that light is actually words that says check hybrid system display. So on when the malfunction in the hybrid system at the same time the master warning light may illuminate and the buzzer may sound. Now if you had both these lights this is a serious condition. There's something wrong with the hybrid system and the master warning light is on. You definitely want to be careful and stay away from the orange wires, the orange circuits, without wearing your gloves. If you have your gloves on, then you should be safe if you get them tested and they're good. But these two together tell you there's something wrong. And it could be something very simple that you don't need the gloves for. But at first, until you get the trouble codes, don't go poking around the orange wires or back near the battery pack. Now, this is the hybrid system overheat warning light. It's on when the temperature of any hybrid system component is higher than specification and at the same time you may get that master warning light with the buzzer. This is a brake system warning light on when there's a malfunction in the electronically controlled braking system. Here's the power steering warning light on when there's a malfunction in electronic power steering system and at the same time you may get the buzzard and the master warning light. Now the ready light is on when the power relays are closed, off when the power relays are open. And if you went to the hybrid operation diagnostic class you really have an understanding of this but let's review it. It is so important. These are your contactors. These are your power relays and you can see both of them are controlled by a 12 volt circuit. The one on the bottom is underneath the high voltage orange wire. These when they're closed supply the high voltage battery pack current and voltage to the vehicle's orange wiring harness where it goes to the inverter converter assembly. Look at the ready light in the black square there. It says ready right now. When you look at that, go to your right and you can see the contactors are closed. When those relays are closed, the ready light is on the dash. When the contactors, the relay, are open, the ready light goes out. On, the ready light's on. Off, the ready light's off. They are controlled by the 12 volt auxiliary battery and that comes from the driver relay where the large arrow is pointing to. This is a high side driver, lower right hand corner you see the 12 volt auxiliary battery and it goes directly to the switches. These are high side drivers. They're turning on the voltage and turning it off. They're not controlling ground. 
So when they're on, the ready light is on. When they're off, the ready light is off.